So I finally got enough exposure for the folks at Nat Geo to be aware that I exist and they reviewed a few of my videos and they decided that it's good enough for me to be part of their next documentary which is all about lazy videographers. Hello everybody, welcome back to the channel, Thomas Love here from beautiful Vancouver, British Columbia and today we are stepping out a bit our game because I realized I always talk to you about this beautiful Vancouver, British Columbia but I never show it to you apart from some POV street photography and so I hit downtown with my bike and I stepped here and there to shoot some B-roll so you can have an idea of the setting where we are shooting street and also I realized that downtown Vancouver is not as downtown as let's say New York or other cities and so I ended up shooting b-roll at the seaside level on the beach on the seawall in the parks you will see but why did I do that because I realized that I've always been so very lazy going around with my action coming using it for vlogging and so I would never set up the lights in a proper way I would never set up the microphone properly and then I am almost never shooting with the full frame camera that I have which would be good enough to give me cinematic results and so I'm now shooting with my Leica Q2 with an ND filter in front of it so we have like f2.8 which is good enough for me to be in full focus and track in my face because if you are still shooting still talking heads that's good enough but I would never do it going around because it doesn't have any IBIS and only OIS, so optical image stabilization because the tracking only works with the face when you are facing right in front of it and also if you are not too far away and most important things guys not having a tracking autofocusing mechanism when I'm out there shooting b-roll I will have to set to infinite but also you need to double check because if you overpass the infinite mark on the lens then it's out of focus once again and so with such a tiny depth of field which is f2.8 when you're shooting b-roll going around in the city you really need to double check your infinite mark or where you're focusing but apart from that it's a very good tool i have plenty of the right gear i was just so lazy that i never used it And so since I'm willing to step up my game, I am back with the tripod, I'm back with talking head to a full frame camera, which is good enough for me for recording videos, despite it's not the latest Sony or Canon or Panasonic. Panasonic, if you are watching me, I would love you to, uh, to send over a Panasonic S5 Mark II with some good lens. But we will talk about the L mount in a separate episode. So what am I doing today? Today I wanted to show you a few examples of B-roll that I've shot because I started going around, everything was handheld and so everything was at 24 frames per second, everything was shot with 1 50th of a second shutter speed to match the frame per second with that 180 rule. And so you will see the end results. I tried the ND8 filter and the ND1000 that gives like 10 f-stops masking in front of the lens and if you're ready let's go rolling so yeah you need to know your camera as you can see here following fast moving subjects it's not the thing for this Leica you'd better set it down somewhere and stay still and maybe having people or cars passing by with just small motion here I am walking very cautiously I'm walking very very slow because I don't have a gimbal and I don't intend to get any and it kind of works as you can see I'm using an ND8 filter and I'm using the morning light to give these dreamy nuances with blowing the highlights just a tiny bit but I didn't want to use the ND1000 because the sunshine was not so strong yet so here I'm still on the ND8 f2.8 24 frame per second and definitely the 28 mil is not wide enough for some vlogging. Now the sun is stronger so I mounted the ND1000 that gives me 10 f stops so when I'm in full light I can use f2.8 or eventually I need to step and 
open up to f1.7 like in this case I'm playing with the silhouettes here it's not maybe the best location downtown but I'm still on the seawall and here finally I'm hitting downtown there's the sculpture which is fascinating to me and then here I'm in Robson Square just put the camera there still on a table and recording people passing by as you can see I set it with the focus point to infinite which is more than two meters on this Samilux lens so at infinite it is quite good and of course it's not tracking any people passing by so when they come too close they will be blurry as you can see still the infinite is good to avoid out of focus here it's just some b-roll of the city and here I'm back on the seawall so the silhouette the skyline of the city from the other side and then eventually I will keep going I keep going and now I'm facing North Vancouver as you can see the colors are not uniform from one take to another i will eventually have to grade it but it was in 420 so i didn't have any log and i will not do any color grading on this b-roll so with that i hope you got some value out of this video if you did please remember to like it share it on social media subscribe to the channel so you won't miss any videos to come and i guess i will see you later thank you bye bye